body of anything. Well, we can't move forward if you've got unfinished business. Well, I... Oh, my God, Jack, what's... What's wrong? You, you're as white as a sheet. Are you all right? You alone? Yeah. And I'm fine. No, no, you're not. You look like you've seen a ghost, son. No. Stacy's dead. She fell through the ice. I looked it up. She drowned in some lake or something. That's, that's what they thought, but apparently you survived. So all that stuff you said about Stacy and Gigi being in an accident together, that was a lie? I was in a coma from almost drowning? No, no, no. The coma came later. You walked away from the lake. Apparently the coma was after the accident. But the internet didn't say anything about Stacy being in the basement. It, all the sites said Gigi was alone. They got it wrong. Not the pictures. I don't look anything like Stacy. I look exactly like Gigi. Okay, I know that it's confusing. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. But this is the truth, and I know it's going to sound crazy, but you, Stacy, you had yourself done over to look exactly like Gigi. <laughs> it's the truth. Done over? You mean like plastic surgery? Never it took. Why would I do that? Because you wanted her life. Hey, so I was thinking the whole Three Musketeers thing, that's something you were going to do with Gigi, and I don't want to intrude on that, so I'm going to bow out, okay? <sighs> Shane, it's up to you, buddy. I thought about it, too, and my dad's right. Nobody can ever replace Mom. And she'd want us to have fun. I mean, it's Halloween, so if you still want to go, I think we should all go together as the Three Musketeers. Um, are you both okay with it? Whatever Shane wants. There's just one thing. You're gonna have to wear a mustache. A mustache? No, no way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help but overhearing, but uh, if Victor's will holds and uh, my mother's will holds, then everything goes to me. Talk about a hold up. What, I'm your daughter? I'm her son. Okay, so we can go halvesies. We're going halvesies with you on anything. Oh. God, here we go. It is my money. Give it to Victor me. Lord Sr. left it to me. It is all mine. Uh, you know, you've got to teach him to share. Not my job. Victor Lord Jr. had no right to take that money from me, much less give it to Irene. Uh, okay, you have a point there, but since you were declared legally dead... Do I look dead? You could use a little color. I'm not dead. So all of this is, is, is fruit of the poisonous tree. No, that's rules of evidence. And the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's genetics. Victor Lord left the money to me, and I'm still alive. Anything based on me being dead is, 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 help me out here, No and void. Did I get that right? No, that's for a judge to decide. Yeah, and since I am every bit as much Victor's child as you are, then I have a case, right? You have a case of the stupids. Wait, he just called me stupid. Stop it, stop it. Stupid. We're going to let the lawyers decide this. Really? Are you serious? I'm serious. What? I'm not taking sides. No, and none of us are, all right? We are one big happy family, and we need to stick together, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ow! So greedy. I'm not. R2. Oh. oh. Scrap. I have a wedding to plan. Greedy. This is all your fault. 